Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today... I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> it is Wednesday, it is a B-Wow Wednesday, but uh, there really isn't that much happening because of the situation. So yeah, so I dressed down, I've already got my PJs on, I washed my face. Oh no, are we losing the sun? I decided to like film over in this little corner because like I'm getting decent sunlight for the first time in a while right at this window and I kind of just wanted to sit in the sun <laughs> at least for a little bit you know so if the lighting changes a bit I'm not using any um artificial or studio lighting like I normally would I really just want this one of this to just be like a, a relaxing chill be wow <laughs> so fingers crossed that the sun stays like this at least until the end of this video. That being said, this might be the last be wow for a bit if things continue the way that they are. I did do a live stream, I said I wanted to do more live streams, so I did do a live stream on Sunday, this past Sunday, that was all about how Sephora and Ulta are reacting in their own different ways to this current situation, the global pandemic, and then we talked a little bit about quarantine life. So if you missed that, I'll throw it up in the cards if you would like to watch that live stream. And quite honestly, if this, if we have this few products, because I think, I think Trend Mood has only posted like 14 new products in the past two weeks, which is kind of bananas. Like, for how often, like, you remember when Trend Mood was posting like four or five times a day? Yeah. So if there are this few products for the next BWOW, I might just not do it and then just do a live stream that Wednesday night instead. Keep an eye out for that. I've been doing, I tend to do my live stream Sunday evenings, but I do want to shake it up a little bit. Ooh, hiccup. <laughs> but I do want to shake it up a little bit because I know not everyone can attend um, a Sunday evening live stream. So yeah, we might, instead of the next be wow, I might just do a live stream and we'll pick a topic. Actually, I've got a whole bunch of empties. Like my empties drawer is about to be full. So I might just do, instead of the next be wow, it'll be an empties live stream. Or I might do it earlier. Who knows? Days mean nothing. All right, so let's jump into Trend Mood and just relax and take a look at what the hell the beauty community is doing right now. So before we get into the actual products, I'm just going to go ahead and address this. This is the Sephora Spring Sales Event, which I believe added the spring and the fall. The spring gives you the more percentage off, but uh, at this point in time, I'm not really hyped about buying from Sephora and I don't really need anything. <laughs> if anything, this has been a great time for me to shop my stash and use up products I normally wouldn't reach for. So I I think I've only bought one th one thing. Oh no, I'm losing the sun. Come back. <laughs> Come back. I, I've only bought one. Oh, I forgot to do the update. So I did buy, uh, they're all the way out of my desk and I'm sitting here. I will throw up pictures because <laughs> I don't want to get up off the floor. I bought two palettes from Lunatic Cosmetic Labs for their April 1st um, sale and I got the new neutral palette, I think it's called the Descendants palette, and then I got the Heart palette. So I got both of those. I haven't actually used them yet, uh, so once I do, actually I could probably do a video on that. My first impressions or... I don't know, let me know, do you want to see a first impressions with those two palettes from Lunatic Cosmetic Labs? Would you rather wait a little bit and get a full review? Because honestly, I've got time. I could do either. Back to this at hand. I'm not going to be buying anything from the sales event. I think what Sephora did was sketchy as hell. And if again, if you missed that whole conversation live stream, check that out. Um, so I'm not going to be... I'm not saying I'm going to totally boycott Sephora, but at least for the time being, when I don't need anything and I'm not looking for anything, it's easy. It costs me zero spoons, like Smoky Glow says, to not purchase from Sephora at this time. So, for Solly is coming out, do they, did they already have skincare? Like, I know they're known for, like, their serums and... So few people drive by my house now that that was an event. So I don't know if Farsali already had skincare, like, were, were those primers and things technically skincare? I don't know. I tried the rose gold elixir a long time ago and it was kind of trash. Man, the light is just doing things in this video. Anyway, the rose gold elixir was pretty trash and I really didn't like it. I ended up decluttering it after not even using the whole thing. So uh, I'm not interested in any skincare that they may or may not have, especially at that price point because I know that their serums are, were not cheap. 
does anyone else like really hate scent like fake fruit scents like if it's a candle if it's a body spray if it's skincare if it's if it smells like a sickly sweet like it's a pretending to be a fruit I hate it so I know right off the bat I would not like this this is from glow recipe and it's called the my glow vanity kit and it comes with a banana souffle moisture cream a watermelon glow sleeping mask and the watermelon glow ultra fine mist which a that's a bit pricey for what looks like a bunch of minis b i'm assuming these smell disgusting like i, I don't like those kind of scents i just don't <laughs> and c don't need it I'm actually glad that I've got like my little skincare like little backup drawer. It's actually right here. Can I hold this up without making a mess? We'll find out. Huh. Here we are. So this is all the skincare backups that I have right now. I have a few bottles from The Ordinary. I've got my rose hip seed oil and um, my caffeine oil. And actually I bought this a few weeks ago to test it out. I haven't used it yet. It's that peeling solution, that red one that makes people look kind of bananas. Um, I've got a backup of my skin renewing cream serum from CeraVe. I've got some soaps <laughs> and I'm actually just about out of moisturizers so yeah. but that's I'm actually really glad and grateful that I had that because I've used like a good third of it just during this quarantine time so I don't have to like waste other people's time or resources trying to buy these in store or online so I'm glad that I had that actually so fingers crossed I think I've got enough skincare to last me until my current routine to last me another month and a half I think so just sidebar I'm glad that I actually had those products kind of as backups okay so I love Fenty I love some Fenty products I'll put it there but I, I don't feel that makeup brands should really be jumping into skincare. I just don't. So I don't know how this is gonna go. So I've heard really good things about like a bunch of different fresh products. They're just expensive for skincare for me, for someone who had to rebuy it, you know, as often as you'd have to rebuy skincare. Um, but I've heard amazing things about their rose toner. I think it's what it is. The rose toner. It's got actual rose petals in it. It's like $50 though. So I've not bought it. <laughs> but uh, I love the scent of rose. And I've heard it's done wonders with people's skin. And now they're releasing a rose deep hydration oil infused serum. Which intrigues me. But also expensive. <laughs> again I don't need skincare right now I've got that entire drawer and I'm doing all right even though I am breaking out like I thought about not coming on without makeup today but you know what I'm on my period and I'm breaking out I want to wear my PJs <laughs> yeah so that being said I'm probably never gonna try this but I was interested man I want a brownie hmm so I kind of forgot this was even a thing but uh, I guess there was a limited edition hourglass um, ambient metallic strobe lightning lighting palette that came out a while ago I, I I've got I still have um, an hourglass face palette so I don't think the formula of these highlighters is different than what you get in like their holiday face palette so I don't need need it I actually don't really remember a lot of people like liking this I don't even remember when it came out but like now that it's like back I, I saw a lot of people on Twitter and like Instagram like oh my god look it's back I'm like but did anyone really like it when it came out <laughs> And it's expansive. How much is it? It's sixty-four dollars. Mm, mm, I would say pass. Tom Ford is coming out with the Summer Soleil collection, which uh, are we even having summer this year? Tom Ford is very expensive. I've tried out two products, and they're both minis. I love the lipstick. Unfortunately, there was a lipstick in Indian Rose that I loved. But I can't justify spending that much money on a bullet lipstick when I know I don't wear bullet lipsticks that often. I just can't. So, no. Ooh, what is, I mean, oh, what is this? What is this? Skin gloss. Oh, that sounds kind of, what? Oh, okay, that's the bundle. Ooh. <laughs> okay, well, I just went through a lot of emotions right here. So, from Domini Cosmetics, there are these new products called Skin Gloss which I think is a highlighter. I can't tell if it's cream or not. Is that powder or is it a cream? Okay, an all over skin enhancer 
provides hydration, glass skin look, long lasting and natural glow with hyaluronic acid, cream to powder finish. Huh, I have to say, like on first like scrolling through, they look gorgeous. I kinda, I'm really interested, but I, hmm. Cream to powder, I don't know how I would feel about that. I've never tried a cream to powder or anything though. And I double taked because I saw the $80 price tag, but $80 is for all four of them. <laughs> Individually, they're $25. Mm, hmm. 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 I don't know. I'm considering. <sighs> another week and another MAC collection with pretty packaging that I honestly think is going to be... <clears throat> just... I don't trust any new collections by MAC now. Like, they've got good, stable base products, like their foundations and their, like, regular, stable, constant base palettes and products. But any new collection like this, I don't trust. <laughs> I don't. And this is called the Mosaic Masterpiece Collection, which it might just be available in Europe. Even better. We don't need it. <laughs> Man, this looks gorgeous. Oh, and it's from Makeup Revolution. Ooh. This is the Luster Highlighter Rose. And it comes in a gold glittery mirror compact. It's $15, which is a bit steep for Makeup Revolution, but this looks cute. It comes in rose gold, white rose, golden rose, and pink rose. I kind of want white rose. That looks pretty. Mm -mm. But $15 for one highlighter. Mm -mm. You know, I don't know. It looks cute though. I will say, I saw just the picture and I thought it was like a luxury brand from far away. All right, so Clinique. Hmm. Clinique has some decent skincare products. I did like their moisturizers a lot. I just think, again, they're pricey for skincare that I have to keep repurchasing. That being said, I haven't tried a whole lot of Clinique, like, colors makeup. <laughs> I was gonna say skincare. Color, like, makeup. Um, I've tried, I think, a foundation, a concealer, some powders, but I don't think I've ever actually tried, like, blushes or, like, bronzers or highlights or anything. So I don't know. Their summer products is just a bronzer and solar pop, highlighter and lunar pop, um, and then they've got lip balms for $19.20. Well, you don't need those, just chapstick. Cheap. Um, and an SPF. I don't know. I'm, I'd be kind of interested in trying some more products from Clinique. Maybe not anytime soon, but uh, I don't know. If you've tried any products from Clinique, let me know down below. Okay, so. Beauty Blender is coming out with a new solid, a new mini blender cleanser. Well, first of all, if you're buying something to cleanse sponges, I would, I would think you'd want to buy it in, not bulk, but like buy it in enough product where you could use it to clean your sponges and your brushes a few times and I'll have to just go out and buy a new one every time. That being said, I've tried um, a bunch of different brush and sponge cleaners. I've tried the Beauty Blender one and I've tried the Sigma one. I've tried... The make it at your home, you know, use the Dawn dish soap and the uh, extra virgin olive oil. And the best cleanser I've found is actually from Shop Miss A. They have dollar, uh, there's two cleansers. There's a sponge cleanser, which is a smooth soap. And then there is a brush cleanser, which actually has little grains of, it's not rice. And they, they dissolve, but it, it's bumpy and it has texture. So you can actually cleanse the brush on the soap and you don't need to have another like, product in order to like clean it up it's genius it's a dollar they smell good and they clean <laughs> so that's really all I've been using I actually ordered um over a month ago at this point I ordered um a, a big order from shop miss a mainly rebuying those cleansers so I bought like four of each cleanser because I really wanted to bulk up on those and then I tried out some other products I think I bought some brushes but that package actually got lost about a month ago and I had to reach out. I didn't want to reach out right away and be like, you know, during this pandemic and be like that. But the package has been lost for a month. And so I decided to reach out just to say, hey, there's no rush on this, but here's the tracking information. I'm pretty sure it's lost. Can I get the order reshipped at some point? Again, no rush. Or could I just get like a refund or a store credit or something? Because I just really, I'm about to run out of the soaps and I kind of just want to order soap. Um, and they got back to me really quickly and they're like, yeah, here are your options. You can get a full refund or we can give you store credit or here. They were just really good about it. So eventually I will replace my order with Shop Miss A. But the, the big reason I placed it was for those cleansers. 
the brush and the sponge cleansers because they're both really good that being said they are a dollar and this beauty blender one you don't need <laughs> You don't if there's really good cleansers for a dollar and at home if you have any old bar soap bar soap yeah any old body bar soap that works good for cleaning sponges and if you want to clean your brushes a little extra virgin olive oil and dish soap boom uh speaking of makeup brands that should not be doing skincare kylie skin nope oh that packaging though again i don't need any highlights Especially because I don't think this shade would work on my skin tone, but man, does this Becca highlighting packaging look gorgeous. Uh, I don't need it. I don't. But man, is it pretty. BH Cosmetics is coming out with the Midnight Festival collection, uh, which I'm supposing was supposed to line up a festival season, which of course is cancelled. Uh, the packet, the palette... I don't know. I feel like it looks, it might just be these pictures of the swatches, but it looks kind of dull. And nothing I don't like already have spread across a couple of different um, palettes in my collection. Uh, the brush set looks adorable, and I've tried BH Cosmetics brushes. They're really good. So if you're looking for brushes, not a bad option. But yeah, just not, not what I'm feeling right now, not what I'm really looking for. Not that I'm looking for anything, but I don't know. Not into it. How is this already sold out? Jesus. So La Mer, which should just be called La Whole Paycheck, uh, is coming out with, I don't even know what this is. It's a bronzing powder. And it's already sold out at Nordstrom, which is bananas, because I'm sure this is over $100. It has to be, because it's La Mer. Ugh. It looks pretty, but I don't think I'm ever actually going to try a La Mer product in my life. <laughs> All right, so... Ugh, Charlotte Tilbury has this line of like the magic cream that is supposed to like do your taxes for you and take 20 years off of your face and blah 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 and they, they recently I think I mentioned this in the last BWOW they're coming out with a magic serum which is also way too expensive I think for what it is um, and now they're coming out with a magic lip oil which Jesus please if there's nothing you else you take from my BWOWs excuse me Mr. Bird excuse you rude what was i saying if there's anything you take from my bee wows is that you don't need to spend a lot of money for chapstick i use uh right now what do i have blistex that i'm using don't please don't spend the money that i'm sure this is going to cost is the price here no it doesn't even the price because i'm sure it's going to be freaking ridiculous please don't buy this <sighs> wow we actually had more products here to go through than i thought so e.l.f. is coming out with these new sheer slick lipsticks and it's described as <laughs> this formula was inspired by the summer days of biting into juicy delicious fruit. I mean I guess I can kind of get what they're getting at but like if I bite into like a watermelon or something my first thought is just oh uh, messy. I love watermelon. I mean most likely I'll just cut it up and eat it in little chunks of deliciousness. But, eh, that sounds kind of gross. <laughs> this lipstick melts into your lips with a sheer wash of color and a smooth, hydrated feel. Five dollars each. Hmm. Uh, probably not my thing. If I'm going for sheer and hydration and stuff like that. Again, chapstick. <laughs> but I think it's actually a cute little product. Seems very on brand for e.l.f. Alright, and the last thing, let's talk about, I guess this is Patrick Ta Beauty. I've not tried anything from the brand. But they're coming out with, I'm assuming this is just a... It's a brow wax. Yeah, it's a brow wax. I'm actually growing my brows out. Uh, you can see here, they are a little bushy. I'm trying to get them to grow a little bit more up here, which is where I tend to pluck them the most. But I thought while I'm in quarantine, why not just let them grow out and get like the bigger brows that are kind of in vogue right now. Um, but yeah, I tend to just use clear brow gel and like either uh, a cream black eyeshadow or just black powder eyeshadow. That's all I've been using in my brows, and I've been liking them, so it's going to be a no for me. So, right after I finished recording this, I saw this on Trend Mood's Twitter. This is a new collection from Wet n Wild called the Fantasy Makers Collection. So there are eight eyeshadow quads, there's some gels, there's some setting spray, a rose primer water. I have to say, I love 
their priming and setting sprays. Wet n Wild does really good affordable setting sprays. So here's the full display, I guess. I don't know what at what store this is or when I'm actually going to be able to go into a store again. But I'm really intrigued. I really want to try the setting sprays and the primer spray. I really want to try some of these quads. And the highlighters look really pretty. I don't know if any of them would work for my skin tone. But I've tried a lot of Wet n Wild highlighters and they're really good and I would really recommend them. So I'm excited. I think this looks really cute. I love the aesthetic and it just... I don't know. We're going to try it because Wet n Wild limited edition collections can be very hit or miss, but this looks adorable and I really want to try it. Okay, so I think we'll leave it there. I feel like we, we went over quite a bit. Definitely a lot more out there than I thought there would be, but again, I'm not really looking out for this kind of stuff right now, so I might just be going over completely over my head. So uh, I hope this was a nice distraction for everyone. Let me know down below. I just punched my night side table. Let me know down below what you thought of all these products and if you want to keep the BWOWs going. If not, I'll try to see if I can do a live stream instead of the next BWOW. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. I've been hearing the birds a lot more lately.